everyone in this video i will give you a tool which will change your life forever and especially for all of you that use ai and for all of you that use pc to be productive this tool will make will run all the ai very easily and also will allow you to be more productive and this tool is called whisper typing do you remember about the the super whisper famous tool for mac well this tool is also on windows and uh, is very fast very efficient and is totally free so let's dive into it so as you can see whisper typing is uh, uh, it helps you to use your voice very easily and very conveniently to integrate to any application you're working in to be faster there is here a video in the website in, in whispertyping.com uh, speaking is three times faster than typing so you can actually optimize your your speed you can integrate it with chat gpt with cloud with uh, any ai you want to use it you can use it for documentation you can integrate it with anything you can imagine and uh, it's very easy to use and you can use AI. It's built with the GPT-40 built-in. Many others are actually built with the GPT-4, the legacy software. And you can also use uh, other AI models. Um, you can use it in write mode, in answer mode, in rewrite mode, in reply mode. You can run commands. It can integrate with GitHub homepage. It can integrate with many, many others. As you can see, the, the list is endless. This tool will change your life, especially if you use AI, if you try to be productive. Um, it is something I was not looking into it. I was, if many of you might have used the, the voice mode in ChatGPT in many other AI. But what the difference of this respect of the one you were using is that you can run it once you can simply hover into whatever application you want to use which it can be chatgpt etc etc just just digit chtrl shift and you will be able just to talk and it will immediately populate wherever you wish to use it so uh, let's uh, make an example of uh, using this so i have downloaded it you can download from the website just digit whisper typing so uh, and once you use it you can see that you see it display this icon now let's start the first use case using it with ChatGPT. so let's create a new web page and let's hover here now that the only thing i will do is to ask to build the to-do app, let's say. I will just digit GTL shift. Hello, ChatGPT, please build for me a to-do app that allow me to enter tasks to perform, to modify them, and also to make the make the to-do app very beautifully from the UI and UX perspective and to allow users to also insert tags based on uh, the status of this ticket that's it you see it already seamlessly populate the data very in very in a way well way well just chat gpt probably didn't understand very well but it, it doesn't matter anyway and that's it we digit it and it's going this how fast can be very very fast so uh let's try to use the AI coding tool which we'll we discussed lately which works probably the same way let's test it um let's use let's say to write a readme file for this project so ctrl shift uh, hello ChatGPT. now uh, please uh, uh, build a readme page for the playwright project so make sure to go into the playwright folder and inside it uh, make sure to build a readme file which allow people to understand how the project was set up and how to optimally run the tests done now you can press enter that's it so basically you just uh, go wherever you need to go and talk and it will be seamlessly giving you the solution you want how cool is that this is changing my life and i'm sure it will change yours
Uh, other use case, probably you want to use Notion um, to write uh, documents or notes you want to uh, select, or you, you are chatting, you're having a call, you want to record something. So let's say that I want to create a new page, but I don't want to just write it. So let's give it uh, to the eye, this purpose. So the title is about a document that uh, allows to give me the task for today. Okay, that's it. That's what it did. Um, probably I need uh, to uh, specify uh, if it's which modality I want to use this for. Um, you see that if I click here, the, it give me now it's called the listening. So probably we'll write all of this. So you have the transcription mode. You have the auto detect, which you can select the language. You can also have different the, the appearance mode the transcription, the activation, uh, you, you can see which way to use. Uh, you can also copy and paste the text uh, if you wish. Instead, then use ctrl.shift so that it will, it will be listening and probably to write the text. Let's see if that works as it expects. So ctrl, alt, v, ctrl, alt, v. And it copy, it paste everything. That's it. Let's see ctrl, alt, v. Is it alt v? It is copy pasting everything I've been saying so far. So the, in the background it is uh, working, and then it, it is giving me the the text I want until it was listening. I mean, uh, uh, this is super cool. I'm really enjoying using this application. Uh, let me know if you like this application and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, do you have in mind any other use case that I, I didn't use it for? Let me know because this application blow my totally my mind. It really can make your life much easier. It's very easy to just digit CTRL and shift and just talk and it will be talking. If I want here to write documentation, I can say, hey, hello, um, this document is about uh, a new task that I need to perform tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Done. Uh, again, show support to this channel, liking, commenting the video, and subscribe to the channel for more information like this. See you in the next video.